folks, it's Mike. Um, today I'm going to be uh, heading downtown uh, Winnipeg uh, just to do a little bit of street photography, which I haven't actually done in a while. Kind of missed it. Um, and uh, just generally get out because it's, you know, it's a nice spring day. Uh, about, I don't know, 13, 14 Celsius right now. Um, and uh, just wanted to uh, sort of dust off the rust. for today is to shoot in black and white, which I don't really do a lot of, and to be honest, I probably should do a little bit more. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes, but I'm pretty sure it'll turn out okay. As you can see, the uh, Canadian geese have made their way back to Winnipeg to uh, carpet bomb the streets with their poop. Ugh. Room for 40? No, no, you're, you're not fooling nobody. I mean, at best 20, because there are people with, uh, you know, using their backpacks to reserve a seat for themselves. Uh, people that just refuse to sit. Really, no, yeah, no. So a little uh, bit of uh, background to uh, Portage in Maine, which is Winnipeg's most famous intersection. Um, for the last 41 years, it's been closed off to uh, pedestrian traffic uh, above ground, which means the only way you can cross is to go underground through a series of tunnels and walkways. And uh, well, it's, I will say it actually has created some interesting uh, perspectives and vantage points for, uh, for photography.
Anyway, uh, my uh, personal philosophy on street photography is basically to capture anything and everything related to everyday life. I mean, I think that's basically what it's about anyway. Um, whether it be just mundane scenes where people are just walking down the street or, you know, cars going down the street or, you know, capturing things like little hidden scenes like, say, masks on the ground, uh, you know, just to show sort of what's going on, essentially. Um, it's pretty simple, but I mean, you still, in my opinion, have to sort of take the, the typical uh, photography um, guidelines, really, you know, like, you, that you'd apply in landscape and portrait photography, you know, don't cut off heads, don't cut off uh, uh, tops of trees, and, you know, if, if you can, you know, if it works, that kind of thing, but uh, that's how it goes. We will say Portage Avenue has also changed a lot over the last 35-40 years. Uh, on the north side it used to be populated by uh, lots of small shops and on the south side uh, populated on either end of downtown with the Bay and uh, Eaton's department stores. Um, both have since shuttered. Um, in fact Eaton's has also been replaced by the MTS Center, uh, home of the Winnipeg Jets. So with the uh, street photography, it's good for any... Sorry, I just kept going into black and white, I don't know why. Anyway, with street photography, it's good for any skill level, uh, especially for those that are starting out, because um, it, it sort of forces you to pick out compositions, uh, you, you know, using any of the, the various uh, compositional rules, um, and, uh, you know, forces you to, to use the uh, properly use the, uh, the exposure triangle of the uh, shutter speed, aperture, and uh, ISO. Um, you know, give me the triangle. Sorry, it's my gang sign. What can I say? Street photography and black and white photography seem to go well together. You've got the, the grittiness of the streets that shows up nicely, especially in high contrast scenes. You can hide unimportant details in the shadows. It's easier to isolate people from the backgrounds, giving them more attention in the scene. Uh, whereas when you shoot in color, some of those details can be lost amongst all those colors. Oh, come on. This looks better in, in color than black and white. There we go. Much better. Looking up at these uh, tall buildings can really hurt your neck. Ouch! Ooh. 
Anyway, with uh, street photography, it's uh, good for any type of personality, whether you're, you're uh, quite outgoing and you love talking to people and you'll take their, uh, their portraits, you know, nice street portraits, or if uh, you're uh, someone who's more like me, is a little more introverted, where you just kind of want to, you know, shoot from a distance and uh, take nice photos of uh, you know, buildings and various different you know, street scenes with signs and such. Um, it's a uh, it's, uh, good ground to, uh, to work with. Of course, what's also neat about street photography is that you get the tall buildings which create a lot of shadows and uh, you can get some nice high contrasted photos. Kind of neat. Anyway, I'm going to head back home. Uh, my day is done. My feet are sore. That's one thing about street photography. I'm walking all over the place. Uh, on that note, have fun, enjoy, do the usual, like, comment, subscribe.